guys, this is Emily, uh, co-president of Teens Turning Green, and I'm here in Ohio at Oberlin College in the Environmental Science Building. And not only is the environmental science that they're studying completely sustainable, but the building itself is actually completely sustainable as well. It was designed by students, and um, it was uh, all of the materials in the building are local. They're either they're from a 200 mile radius around, so there's no importing except for the tiles on the floors, which actually help to keep the building cooler in the summer and warmer in the winter. So there's not a lot of need, need for um, heating and cooling systems. However, they also utilize uh, geothermal energy, which is a green energy that they basically drill holes into the earth and flow the air through there so that it naturally cools the air without having to burn coal or anything to get that kind of energy moving. They also use um, photovoltaic cells, solar panels on the roof, and there's an additional set of them outside over the garden. And in the garden there's food that is, I believe, brought into the um, cafeteria, so using the land, using the what they're doing. Um, in the room itself, we have um, old light bulbs that are now no longer being used since they were switched out for um, more energy efficient light bulbs. There's a little water fountain there with um, plants, so it, you know everything kind of feels more organic, even though it looks like pretty much a normal building. There are certain aspects that make it really do feel natural, like the recycled wood chairs, the plants. And then I'll take you guys over here. Hi, so okay, now we're outside of the environmental science building, and this is really cool also. They have a natural wastewater treatment center, and they use the plants inside this building here, that's where they collect the wastewater from the building, as well as the marsh that was planted by and maintained by them out here. Um, and marshes are natural uh, air and water uh, purifiers, so they use those two areas to purify the water. So through the process, once it's at the end of the cycle, the water is actually clean enough to drink again. So what once started out as wastewater is now clean enough to drink, and they use it in the toilets and as well as as uh, they use it for irrigation. And um, so really, just the process of reusing, um, using it organic energy, natural energy, um, natural building supplies, this building gets a thumbs up for sustainability.